hey guys welcome back to another exciting reaction and so today guys we're gonna be finding out or discussing something quite interesting we've been talking about the passport bros so today we're gonna be talking about the who are the passport girls we've also got the passport girls let's go straight into this and find out about this okay this is first so we actually have a female <laughs> that's a passport sister yeah, she yeah. won she she also hey, would you i guess because you you hit the nail on the head by the way with that definition ladies it's basically guys that leave the united states because western women in general tend to have bad habits have certain behaviors that aren't conducive to a long-term relationship in general women don't respect men in the west yeah. you know she is a passport sister and we've just heard from this gentleman he's saying women in the west in the western countries they don't respect men at all in general like the average guy has to fight tooth and nail to even get a date. Women are more traditionally feminine in these countries. So mm -hmm. would you say, would, would you agree with them that that's kind of the marketplace for dating here when it comes to females or? Yeah, but I do think it backfires because after being with my girl for a while, I mean, she's Latina. They're just a, like, it's not much different. It's just. Okay. Oh, she is a bisexual. You just had she sing after being with my girl for a while. The, I think the. I'm trying to find the right word here. I just say what's like, on your mind. That we're not a politically correct podcast. Just say. I feel it. like the no effort, gonna... the effort that goes in to finding a woman of value outside the country is a lot less than finding a woman of value in the country, because you could just have a conversation with somebody outside the country. They're more upfront about it, um, and they're also raised differently to behave differently in relationships the stuff that we learn here and do to each other in america they don't even know what that is over there like it, so it's just unheard of so it's kind of like going back in time to like the 50s where things weren't so jacked up where masculine and feminine could just be masculine and uh, feminine okay they're like behind in the times there i guess so it's still kind of interesting that mm -hmm. guess you just had it from her she is against women coming from other countries she prefers dating women in their own country rather than getting a woman who is coming from another country because you don't know their character you don't know how they've been brought up wow this is quite interesting and guys so in the next video we're going to be seeing this passport girls movement i didn't know that there's a passport girls movement too <laughs> What in the Lizzo going on here? In Mauritania, being a fat woman is seen as the height of sexiness. The fatter the girl is, the more wealthy and attractive she appears. I mean, with the cost of living and inflation as a whole, I'm not surprised that it's a sign of being wealthy. Because of this, girls as young as five are literally forced to eat up to 16,000 calories a day. It sounds like my type of country. They do believe that girls, a girl who is so much, a girl who is fat or big, they even prefer eating several meals a day because that is being marketable they prefer girls who are overweight in the <laughs> i should relocate there where no one would question me eating all day long these girls will eat a whopping 3,000 calories in the form of milk cuscos and porridge which is equivalent to 10 cheeseburgers they slurp down another 4,000 calories at lunch and 9,000 calories at dinner it looks like there's going to be a passport girl movement but come on man those were the old days now forcing to eat that much food is so unhealthy and dangerous imagine eating that much and going to shit 14 oh times a day goodness. they really eat they really eat 3,000 calories a day and we've just had it from him. The moment that three calories a day is finished, wow, believe it. It's gonna be a passport girl's movement. <laughs> passport girls. Are y'all tired of those American men that don't do nothing for you? Who put you on these foreigners? The ones that don't speak any English? The ones that just give you their money and do whatever you want them to do? Mm-hmm. Passport girls. They need money. They don't have to speak English, but wow, they've just gotten someone who give, can cater for them. Everything is wow. So I did a video last week about passport men, specifically men who go mostly to Asia to find wives. I'm not talking about guys who travel and meet a woman and fall in love. I'm talking specifically going there to find a wife and bring her back to North America. And I was asking, what's going on with this phenomenon? You just had it from her. She doesn't mean that 
getting someone getting a woman you fall in love and marry her no she's talking about going abroad finding a wife or a girlfriend or a fiance and bringing her back to north america and marrying her phenomena anyways i got hundreds of comments I, i i understand the perspective and and why it's being practiced but this is an interesting comment that i got women can do the same and find an incredible husband in asia they will be more loving as a husband more caring and not fat and i have to bring up a, a philosophical point that i've been thinking about okay ever since the video on the passport man because now look guys what happens is our society is a reflection of the values and the sins of our ancestors right we are our society is actually reflecting on the values and the sins of our ancestors that is what the society is actually re- reflecting on operate within the society we consume and you as men after being with 50 100 women women after being with 50 100 men do we have the right to go to other cultures other con- exactly you as a man after being with 50 60 70 women you as a woman after going out with almost 50 60 70 women 70 guys do you actually have the right of going to other countries or to other cultures countries and and sort of say you know what whatever i have at home it is not it's just not good i know there's better i'm not willing to operate in better though i still want to live my life or have lived my life go through many people but when i'm ready to settle down i'll just go to asia to find a husband because i can afford him i'll bring him here he'll rub my feet and he'll be more loving to me and not fat Guys, there's something defective with this advice, isn't isn't there? Right? I mean, this is I know this is the European mindset. It's always been, right? Europeans or if you're not of European ancestry, then if you've been raised in North America, you do have this mentality because that's what Europeans do. They go everywhere and they teach everybody to think the way they do. You know, when when things run out in Europe, what do you do? You go to other continents. You exploit other people. you exploit nature somewhere else and you take what you want from other societies and then you spoil it and then you don't make your society better really you just spoil it and then you go back where people have lived a certain way based on sacrifice sacrifice of immediate pleasures you go there you consume you come back right it is something i don't know something doesn't sit well with me wow you just had it from her guys why go to other countries why go to other cultures do you think you're going to make it you've been dating almost 20 or 30 guys you are a man you've gone out with almost 20 or 30 women so you think it's your right it's your privilege to go or move abroad go get another woman there it's not adding up at all So guys thank you so much let me know your take on this in the comment section and let's catch up next time for other video reaction bye